everybody and welcome back. I am the Sovereign and this is my court. Happy New Year! This is the first video that I am sitting down to make in 2020. How was your New Year's? I hope everybody got through New Year's safely. Maybe you were able to have a little bit of fun. 2020 hit and my life honestly changed a lot. <laughs> changed a lot within the past couple of weeks. Those of you who are on Patreon, you will be knowing all the tea very soon. I'm gonna spill some of my personal tea because I have to tell somebody, right? Those of you that are in the Discord kingdom, hey, some of you know a little bit of the tea, but my Viscounts, my Barons, my Knights, you guys are gonna get the most tea because ah, we need to talk. And I wanna say a very warm, very happy welcome to Miss Cement, the newest knight in our coterie over on Patreon. Welcome and thank you all so much for your support, you know, you guys are my friends, and you guys are what keep me coming back to the court, keep me coming back to my kingdom. Like, you guys make it so much fun for me, because to be honest, my family drives me crazy sometimes. Like, let's be honest about this. All of our families get on our nerves, and we just need a place to retreat. You guys are my retreat, and I appreciate you so much. You have no idea. Now, we are all a little bit older in the new year. That's fine, okay, we talked about that. You can be older and fabulous, doesn't matter. We're all a little bit older, a little bit more experienced, a little bit more wiser, you know, things have maybe changed. But today, I wanna acknowledge, honestly, how much I haven't changed in my older age. <laughs> so today is the video I wanna do 10 things that I just admittedly never grew out of. Yes, I'm going to be 100% honest. There are just some shenanigans that I never grew out of. Now, some of you should be aware of that if you've been riding with me for a year or more, because I've been on YouTube for about two years now, or we just got in past two years. Those of you who have been riding with me since 2018, you guys already know how I am, okay? I've honestly hidden nothing about my behaviors, but for those of you who are new, or you didn't know as much as I'm about to tell you, there's, there's just some things that I am willing to admit to you. At number 10 of the things that I just never grew out of <laughs> is adventure. Throughout the history of my channel, you guys have seen me randomly take off to different states. I went to DC, I went to Oregon with just like no warning and I went and I did vlog the trip. Um, the Oregon trip I will drop probably on Patreon, but I love adventure. I love to experience things and sometimes I don't give proper notice and I just wanna go. <laughs> I just go and I just do things. I will wake up and decide I wanna climb the mountain. I will go to the beach and be like, you know what, I wanna to swim to the island. I like adventure. You know, life is not meant to be completely mapped out. It's meant to be spontaneous. It's meant to live. Like, I'm the type of woman, you're gonna catch my adult mature self climbing trees, okay? When I go to hotels to this day, I still jump on the bed. I just, I like that adventure. I check into hotels for absolutely no reason for no reason whatsoever, just to have the experience. And if you're not living your life that way, you really should. You really should. You do not need an excuse to go to a new restaurant, a new place, sit outside, smell the flowers, smell the roses. I will be uploading moto vlogs here on my main channel so that you guys can go on some of these adventures with me. It'll be a nice way for us to get out of the palace, out of the kingdom, and have fun together, but I am an adventurous person, which honestly is one of the reasons I have a motorcycle, hey. But we'll be going on some adventures together. Number nine, I have to admit that I have never grown out of sing-alongs. Oh my God, I love sing-alongs. Sing-alongs, I love sing-alongs. You, ask my family, okay? I will walk around this house randomly singing show tunes, musical theater songs for no reason. Disney songs, I know all of the parts, I know the harmonies, I know the backup vocals, like, I love a sing-along, you guys, I like to sing. It's so much fun, it's just happiness. Like, I will clean my house and sing the cleanup song from Enchanted. I know, I know, I'm a mess, but we're, we're admitting things today, I admit to that. Number eight, I have never grown out of loving naps. Get off me, leave me alone, okay? That is my fondest memory of kindergarten, was nap time. I was never that child where you had to tell me to go to bed twice. Nope, give me a pillow, a blanket, I'm out. Like, I remember one time I fell asleep on top of the dryer as a child and nobody could find me because I was like in a hidden closet and I slept there because of the rocking motion and because it was warm. Like, to this day, I love a good nap. Like, leave me alone. Me and my fuzzy blanket and my fuzzy pajamas go away. <laughs> But it's not just me, let's be honest about that. Like there's a lot of you down there, you know you love your naps too. Adults like naps. Number seven, 
I have not grown out of video games. I'm a gamer girl. I am a gamer girl. If you are on the family channel, The House of Sovereign, I just uploaded a video about The Sims because I'm a Sims fanatic. But honestly, I like video games in general. I play Modern Warfare, uh, the Call of Duty game. I play uh, Left 4 Dead. I was on Left 4 Dead something tough for years. Can I get a new Left 4 Dead, please? Super Smash Bros. Like. I love video games and I will beat you at them. Do not underestimate me, okay? Just because I wear little cute crowns and everything. I will destroy you with my wonderfully manicured nails, all right? Gamer girl all day. And I like Xbox Live. I'm an Xbox, not, not PlayStation, Xbox, because Xbox has the best multiplayer platform. And when I play video games and I can talk to other people like Xbox allows me to do, I like to hear the people I destroy scream in the background. That makes me very happy. There's something incredibly satisfying about hearing the distress of your enemies. <laughs> I'm, I'm totally, look, this goes into something that is further up the list that I'm gonna have to admit to as well. Let's keep going. <laughs> At number six, if it's not completely obvious, even though I do not really enjoy this company and I kind of think it, this company is the destroyer of worlds, um, I'm gonna have to cop that I have never grown out of Disney. Never grew out of Disney. I did not grow out of Disney. You guys, like I said, I know all the songs. I know all the harmonies. I know all the parts. Like I can recite certain movies word for word. I, Hello, I wear crowns and tiaras all the time. Like honestly, it really shouldn't catch you by surprise. It shouldn't. Okay, number five, number five, number five. I'm gonna have to cop to this one too. Some of you should know this. Some of you haven't caught on. Some people that are on my Instagram, you guys need to know. So I have to admit this and please listen to me. I'm copping to this, I'm admitting this, okay? I have not grown out of petty behavior. Never grew out of it, probably never will. I have no problem being petty. Everybody knows I have the crown of shade. One of my favorite activities, including that of my mother, is to play Whack-A-Troll on my YouTube channel, on Instagram, because you guys see me, um, I'm not like other YouTubers. Other YouTubers aren't really connected to their audience. I'm, I treat you guys like my friends. I know so many of you, I've talked to you, I've seen your families, I've seen your kids, I've like, you guys, we talk, there's an actual discord that happens within my court. So I'm a very interactive YouTuber. So you see me in the comment section all the time talking to people. And I am not the type of person to be like, I'm better than anyone or people are, you know, you're unworthy to speak to me. No matter if you are one of my Viscounts from my coterie or you're one of the peasants that like to throw stones at me, I really don't care and I interact with everybody. So, and yes, I, I tend to be a bit petty, okay? And I think it's fun. I think it's fun. I enjoy a witty comeback. When I'm bored and I have nothing better to do, I enjoy issuing clapbacks. My name on YouTube is not the angel, it's the sovereign, okay? Every now and then there will be some executions held and I have never lied about that. And I just don't want you guys to get distressed in the comments because people get distressed and they're like, oh queen, you don't have to respond to them. I know that, I know. I'm very responsive though, I'm interactive and I will talk to pretty much anybody. And quite honestly, trolls, I need you to stop crying. I need you to stop crying. Don't throw stones at me if you don't wanna play catch because they'll send me DMs in my Instagram, they'll send me messages in my comment section once they find out I have a really strong arm. I do not take faceless people on the internet seriously, so I find it incredibly enjoyable to issue clapbacks that they're not expecting. I love the, like, I love it because people on the internet seem to think that they have the right to go around and throw stones at people and they forget that people can throw them back or they think that other people won't throw them back. Like, I, I, I don't know, I don't know what you're thinking. I'm petty, I'm petty. You know what, it's not just the internet. I do it with my family too, okay? My grandma just ate a piece of my chicken and lied about it, yeah. When my brother's mean to me all day, I definitely do hold that over his head until he comes and gives me a hug and apologizes. You know, it's not something that I, really take as a big deal. And like I said, I'm just confessing to it because people seem to be caught off guard by my naughty behavior and I never said that I was an angel. Okay, let's continue. Number four that I never grew out of, toxic men. No, I'm lying, but I needed to say that for some of you that needs to get over it. 
love you girl, drop him. Now my real number four is fairy tales, which once again makes a lot of sense, right? <laughs> makes a lot of sense. I never grew out of the fairy tales. I am a hopeless romantic. I enjoy romantic stories. I write romantic stories and I write, I wrote an entire fantasy novel. You guys don't even know about this yet, but eventually you'll know the full scope of it. I love fantasy. I love fairy tales and I'm not gonna ever get over it. It's great. I love the creativity. I love the world building. I like to build or see or experience things are are not of our world. I, I just, I like it. There's so much adventure in fantasies. There's love in fantasies, which obviously this ties in with my, you know, thing for Disney. So this shouldn't catch anybody off guard. <laughs> Number three of things that I am admitting that I have never grown out of is cartoons. I still watch cartoons. Okay, now not crappy cartoons. We're not talking Roly Polioli. Who remembers that? Who remembers Roly Polioli? I used to watch that. But SpongeBob is still a good cartoon. I don't care what anybody says. There are some DC cartoons that are still very good. Dragon Ball Z. Yes, Piccolo's been my man since I was like 10. He's always been my favorite Saiyan. Get off me. <laughs> I, li I still like cartoons. I am not, you know, too mature or adult to confess and watch, you know, cartoons. I do it with my brother all the time, quite honestly. Number two. I have not grown out of a dress up. I haven't grown out of playing dress up. I love to play dress up. Hello, you guys, you guys see the crowns? Obviously, obviously. See, so much about me makes sense now, right? I've never grown out of loving to play dress up. I love fashion. I've always had a passion for fashion. I was one of those women that like, even girls, even a teenager, like I have always loved fashion. And I never grew out of liking to wear like princess dresses and cute little headgear. And I love like hair accessories and 50s hats. I like dress up, the gloves, the accessories, the all of it. And you know what? So what? The, the whole point of this video is just like, why do people think that once I get older, I'm supposed to suddenly not enjoy these very fun activities? Like people legitimately expect me to become a boring person 20 years from now. I'm saying, I am saying right now, it's not gonna happen. I am going to be playing dress up with my granddaughter, okay? Like, I'm not gonna change. And if you're not, quite honestly, these things that I have on my list, you guys have things on your list that you know you have not grown out of, and that's fine. That's fine. That's what gives your personality some spice. It would, it's what brings some excitement to your life. Like don't conceal it. Don't get rid of it. Don't think you have to outgrow it. Like love it, live it, like have fun. Send me, oh yeah, hit me up on Instagram. Send me pictures of your nonsense. Maybe I wanna join in, I don't know. Give me ideas. I am willing to do practically anything. <laughs> okay, so number one, the number one thing that I have to cop to not growing out of is Barbies. Hold on now. Hold on. Because I know you guys are like, wait, what? Like the actual plastic, like doll. No. Because number one, I was a Bratz girl. I was a Bratz girl. Now I did have an excessive amount of Barbies, but I gave them away. I do still have my Bratz dolls though. They're in storage. Leave me alone. Um, what I mean when I say I haven't grown out of Barbies is my love of Barbies has kind of morphed into something different. Instead of playing with these plastic dolls, I have matured and grown up and now I have these life-size angelic Barbies that I get to see on a constant basis. My Barbies are the pageant queens. They are my living, breathing, beautiful, wonderful dolls. And you guys know that I adore them. Like they, they are my Barbies and they're so much better than, you know, my little plastic dolls when I was young. Like these women have substance. They have real beauty. They're real people. Do you guys remember that movie of Tyra Banks when the Barbie came to life and it was like, I don't know, life size me or something. It was like a living Barbie. Barbie, that's what these girls are to me and they're great and I adore every bit of what these women give us they give us the fashion they give us the looks they give us the photos they give us the styles they like they give it all to us this this one over here this is my internet bay. okay she will be known on this channel she's the Duchess of Romboulon Maria will be known forever because she is look Maria is my internet boo okay I will have love for this woman forever forever do you see her do you see that Barbie she is one of my favorite in my little Barbie collection. Maria, we love you over here. She's... And congratulations, by the way, to Maria. She is going to competition as uh, representing Philippines in Miss Bikini Universe, which I will be watching. Uh -huh. So anyways, like I said, 
internet bay. My future boyfriend's just gonna have to deal with it. But these women are like living Barbies and you guys all know that you kind of feel the same. That's why you're a part of this channel, most of you. You know how much you adore these women, how beautiful they are, how wonderful they are. Like they are the living, breathing things that we used to love as children brought to real life and oh, all of them so glorious, so beautiful. Keep doing you girls. You give us so much life over here and it is highly appreciated. <gasps> My pageant Barbies. Wonderful. Okay, so let me know in the comments section below what you think about all of my childish antics that I have never let go, even into adulthood and have no intention of letting go and care what anybody says. Let us know what are some of the things that you have hung on to through your adolescence and teen years into adulthood that maybe some of your friends and family think are nonsensical, but the rest of us, we totally understand and have your back. Let me know what you think of the things that I have never let go. <laughs> It really doesn't matter. You know, I, I own my nonsense no matter what form it comes in. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up. If you are not a member of my court, please consider hitting the subscribe button so that we can see your wonderful face again. I love you, I'll miss you, and you know I will be back in a future video. Bye!